Nitrates Beets versus Bacon Nitrates and nitrites are commonly bound to sodium or potassium and belong to a family of related molecules that includes nitric oxide. Nitrates are stable, but they can convert to nitrites through enzymatic or bacterial action. Nitrites can further transform into beneficial nitric oxide or harmful nitrosamines, especially under high heat cooking conditions. When consumed, nitrates or nitrites from vegetables can transform into nitric oxide a compound that dilates blood vessels, potentially reducing blood pressure. Similarly, during the curing of pork using saltpeter, the conversion of nitrate into nitrite provides a preservative effect and imparts a rosy appearance to the meat. Anyway, nitrates are useful and needed for our bodily functions, but we have to be aware of the sources of these nitrates and consume them in a way that is not harmful. Nitrates are classified into natural nitrates and synthetic nitrates, and beets and bacon fall into each category respectively. First, let's talk about nitrates in beets. As you know, beets contain natural nitrates. These nitrates are converted into nitric oxide in the body, which may help dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow. Studies indicate that nitrates from sources like beet juice can enhance muscle power output and reduce the risk of heart disease. On the other hand, bacon or cured pork contain synthetic nitrates. These synthetic nitrates are used to preserve the meat and add flavor and color, but they are associated with potential health risks. Some studies suggest a link between processed meat consumption and certain health issues. They can combine with amino acids to form nitrosamines, which are linked to an increased risk of certain cancers. Nitrosamines can also develop when cooking meats like bacon at high temperatures. Because of these risks, the World Health Organization categorizes processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens, associating them with colorectal cancer similar to tobacco. Let's now dive a bit deep into this fact and see whether beet or bacon you should eat more. Despite the prevalence of nitrates in vegetables, a considerable portion is converted into nitrite by bacteria and saliva upon ingestion. While sodium nitrite is linked to cancer, the key concern arises when sodium nitrite reacts with degraded amino acid fragments, forming cancer-causing N-nitroso compounds. We'll call these NOCs for short. These NOCs can form during the preparation or digestion of nitrate-containing processed meats, particularly when reacting with protein fragments. The risk is associated with preformed NOCs already present in processed meats, especially those linked to rectal cancer. In contrast, vegetables with fewer protein fragments do not contribute significantly to preformed NOCs. The activation of nitrite requires the presence of a molecule called HAME, which is abundant in meats but not naturally occurring in vegetables. HAME reacts with nitrites, forming nitrosylated HAME, which likely combines with protein fragments to create NOCs. This process explains why nitrate-rich vegetables do not pose a risk if HAME is absent. Additionally, many plant foods contain antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, and polyphenols, which inhibit NOC formation in the gut. Nevertheless, these antioxidants may not provide protection against foods already containing NOCs. Now, you may ask, what the deal of these NOCs is? NOCs induce cancer by damaging DNA, serving as tumor initiators. However, the progression of cancer requires additional agents known as tumor promoters, produced in high amounts when meat is fried. Therefore, fried processed meats may pose a greater cancer risk than non-fried varieties. As you can see, processed meat poses a risk to your health by promoting cancer. And despite how much flavor they add to your diet, it's safe for you to limit the consumption of bacon and other processed meat varieties. So this question's for you, beet or bacon? Let us know in the comments.